Hello, today I'll be showing you how to do a subcutaneous injection for your home testosterone treatment. There are four different parts to this video. First part, we're going to show you what supplies you need. Next, we're going to show you how to prep your injection. Then we're going to show you how to inject. And finally, we're going to show you some common errors that you may experience. This sheet can be downloaded right below this video. If you need it, um, please print it out um, or just refer to it as needed. So starting off, we're gonna get all of our supplies ready. First, a one cc syringe with a with 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle. So this is very important that it's a one cc syringe. These numbers here on the edge should go all the way up to 10. You should not have whole numbers. There should be a decimal point right in front of the number. Very important that this you inject with this needle and not this larger needle. After you have your initial syringe and needle, you need a vial of testosterone. It should come in this little small vial, just like this. It should be sealed on the top. You also need alcohol to clean your skin, a bandage, and a sharps container, like this one, which you can get from your pharmacy. You also need to know what dose you'll be injecting. This number you'll get from your physician. If this is not your number, don't use this. Make sure you write in the appropriate number that you were given by your doctor. All right, I'm gonna clear this off and then I'll show you how to prep your injections. I'll show you two different ways to prep your injection. The first way is good if you are in a time crunch and you want to prep your injections beforehand. The second way is okay, if you're wanting to do a daily draw up um, where you need to clean the bottle every time. This way, uh, use, this technique has less waste and allows a sharp new needle for each injection and it avoids dose mistakes. This is the preferred way. It does take a little bit more time to set up, however. All right, so moving on to this first way, it's a whole vial or month drop. I'm gonna go through each step with you and I'll show you how to do it. Number one, Remove needles from all syringes except for one. Pull the punder black back to the correct dose with the needles off. All right, so I'm gonna take the needles from all the syringes. You should have most likely more than just these three. I only have three today. And then this is my transfer needle. This is not my injection needle. It's gonna be what I use to fill these other two. And it's the one that I'm not taking the needle off of. So this is the safe syringe. We're moving on to step two. Take safe syringe, pull the plunger back to one cc. Actually, sorry, and move these to my prescribed dose. Prescribed dose of 0.1 here. All right. Now we're taking our safe syringe and pulling the plunger back to one cc. So this is the larger needle and larger syringe, pulling it all the way back to one cc there. All right, number three, pierce the needle into the vial, inject air, and then draw up the whole vial of testosterone. With the full syringe, place the needle down into empty syringes and fill the prescribed dose. So here's my bottle of testosterone. I'm going to take the needle and in this case, I would wanna inject or, or inject upside down just like this, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you this way. Just make sure you're holding everything with the bottle facing down and the needle facing up. So I'm going to inject the needle, push the air into the bottle, make sure that my needle is below the fluid line, and then draw back to that original one. You should not have any testosterone left in your bottle at this point. I'm gonna pull it out and then fill each of these up with the testosterone. As you can see, I still have some left in here. That's because I only filled up three of these and my dose was 0.1. So if I needed to get rid of all of this, I would need 10 needles. All right. So now moving on 
to step four. I'm gonna replace the cap needles onto the syringe. Place this here, just to be safe. Putting the needles back on, just like this. And I like to take mine and push them back just a little bit so I don't accidentally push some out when I'm transporting them. The important part is that when you do get ready to inject them, you go ahead and move them back up to that that original dose of 0 0.1. Maybe have a little bit of fluid come out of the needle so that you know that you're not going to inject yourself with a bunch of air. All right, now moving on to step number two or option number two. Uh, so option number two is the daily drop. Number one, clean the vial with alcohol every time you draw from it. Okay, so this is the daily drop. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So for a daily draw, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bottle. I'm gonna clean the vial with alcohol. Then going to move my plunger back to 0.1, my prescribed dose. I'm gonna hold this needle on here when I pull the cap off. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys just like this, but I'm gonna do just like I did in the previous demonstration. Going to inject the needle, inject the air, make sure my needle's below the fluid line, pull back to my prescribed dose, and pull the needle out of the vial. All right, this is now ready to inject. Ready to go. And we'll move on to the next step for this. All right, so now how to inject. So first I'm gonna go wash my hands. Then I'm gonna get all of my supplies for the injection. So moving back up to the supplies list, I'm gonna make or get my pre-filled syringes and my vial of testosterone if I didn't already fill them, my alcohol to clean my skin, my bandage, my sharps container, which is off screen here, and I'm ready to go. So I've now washed my hands, I've gotten all my supplies. I've already made my vial, so I don't need to do step three. I'm now gonna choose my injection site. The best option is the abdomen, as shown in this picture. You wanna make sure you go lateral or outside of the belly button here and make sure you are rotating your injection. So I'm not gonna inject here and then inject here again. I need to go across the belly button or on a different spot. You don't wanna inject in the same spot. So here is my mock belly. Hopefully your skin doesn't look like this. So this is just to the outside of my belly button. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my skin I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna take the injection that I've already prepped, holding onto the needle right here. You can sometimes use your fingernail and pull it off. I'm then going to pinch my skin. Maybe. And I can either go straight down or I can go to 45 degree angle to inject. I like to go to 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and inject I'm gonna go all the way down to the base of the needle or the hub. I'm going to aspirate, pull the plunger back just a little bit. I don't see any blood. I'm then going to inject all of the testosterone in and pull the needle out. I'm going to recap the needle. And I'm going to then push the needle into my sharps container. This can go in the trash. This can go in the trash. All right, that's how you do a testosterone injection. Now we're gonna move on to some common errors. Common errors, number one, not having the correct needles and syringes. You must make sure that the pharmacy dispenses what was prescribed which is the one cc syringe with a 25 gauge 
25 8 inch needle. No other sizes will work. Do not, do not inject with this larger needle. It's very important that you do not inject with this needle. Again, do not inject with this needle. Inject with this needle. Number two, draw up more than another, another error is dropping, drawing up more than prescribed because of seen waste. So when you are drawing, just draw to that point one. This that might be left in the needle, you might see some fluid in here. That's normal and that is accounted for in the dose that your doctor gave you. So just draw to the point one. Don't ever draw it more than that. Forget the rest. Third issue is drawing up one cc and not 0 0.1 cc's. So you're not gonna draw up this entire vial or entire syringe. You're only gonna draw to that 0.1 mark if that was your prescribed dose. If it's not your prescribed dose, draw up to your prescribed dose. I've outlined some of this here. Down here, your physician will mark where on the syringe you should draw your plunger to. So you can see here, he drew the line there. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my plunger to that line. 